So you just heard from lawyers, journalists, and whatever category Beto O'Rourke is in these days. What does someone who has commanded troops think of the president's meeting? Colonel Douglas McGregor is retired from the U.S. Army. He's the author of the fantastic book, Margin of Victory, and he joins us tonight. Colonel, thanks a lot for coming on. Sure. So Washington is not impressed by this. Should the rest of us be impressed? Absolutely. Uh, this took great courage on the part of the president, but he knew that in order to restart this process of uh, denuclearization and normalization, frankly, with North Korea, that he had to make a grand gesture. So he did the thing that everyone least expected. He took the extra step. He went forward to Mr. Kim. He knows that North Korea is in ruins. North Korea really is finished. It lags behind sub-Saharan Africa. North Korea desperately needs help, or things will fall apart over there in ways that we would rather not see. And I'm sure that the president discussed this with President Xi, and President Xi supported him. We don't want a war on the peninsula under any circumstances. No one in Northeast Asia does. So President Trump has the courage to step forward and make it clear that we will contribute to a peaceful outcome on the peninsula. So what would be the motive behind the statements you just saw? Virtually everyone in Washington was united in saying it's immoral for the president to shake hands, to make physical contact with someone as evil as Kim Jong-un. That's in fact worse than the prospect of nuclear war. Where does that attitude come from? Well, clearly, if you want to promote human rights, if you want to improve the, the position of, of the Korean nation, remember we have 49 million Koreans in South Korea, 25 million in North Korea. President Moon really speaks for the majority of the Korean nation. He wants the people in North Korea to enjoy a better standard of living and a better life. And he knows that once these two uh, are in contact with each other, that this regime, as we've seen it over the last 30, 40, 50 years, simply won't survive. So I think Washington takes the view that any change that disrupts the money flow, that changes the uh, larger national security construct, that is, the stationing of forces anywhere, anything that, that threatens that status quo is bad. And President Trump, from the very beginning, has been the great disruptor. Uh, fortunately for the American people, he is disruptive, and he's going to produce peace in Northeast Asia, whether the neocons like it or not. You'd really have to be stupid to want to preserve the status quo on the Korean Peninsula. That's insane. Um, so what is the next step toward a permanent peace, toward reunification? I think there are a couple of things that the president will want to do. The first of those is make an end of war declaration. Remember, the Korean War has never ended. We have effectively a, a, a status quo which doesn't admit to peace. We, we take the position that the war is unending. So that has to stop. President Xi wants an end to it. So does Moon. So does Mr. Kim. When you do that, you take off the table once and for all the use of force to change the status quo on the peninsula. That's very important to everyone. We don't want to do that. And certainly Mr. Kim does not want to see his country liquidated, not through military force. The, the second thing is that I think President Trump needs to turn the operational control of all the forces in South Korea over to President Moon and his generals. That's something that is long overdue. We should not be commanding all of those forces. When that happens, that's a very powerful signal because it says that South Korea is sovereign. The decisions will be made right. by the Koreans, not us. It is, after all, their country. It's not ours. That seems like something the president might be open to. Striking. You're one of the very few people in Washington who would say that, which is why we so enjoy having you on. Colonel, thank you. Great to see thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, we noticed at the